Welcome to the Toga Foundation course and what you will learn here is enterprise architecture using TOGAF which has been the fastest growing discipline. TOGAF is a widely adapted year framework. Receiving this one certification from the open group is the best way to identify yourself as an enterprise architect. My name is Shantanu and I will be leading you through this course. I began my career as a software developer and then transitioned into a technology architect, later into integration architect, solution architecture and enterprise architecture. I have been in the software industry for past 20 years. I am currently working as an enterprise architect for a large European giant. I am a Togap certified trainer. I have designed this course for anyone seeking to become an enterprise architect and learn to have. By end of this course, the candidate will gain the knowledge of the terminology and the basic concepts of TOGAF. They will also learn the EA framework or the enterprise architecture framework and TOGAF 9. They will also understand the core principles of enterprise architecture and TOGAF 9. They will be able to take TOGAF 9 part 1 examination after completion of this course. You will be also able to show your employer your enterprise architecture understanding by learning the architecture principles, guidelines, frameworks, standards and governance. Remember, TOGAF is the global de facto standard for the enterprise architecture. The aim of this course is to provide the student a complete understanding of TOGAF level 1 course so that later after completion of the course they can take the part 1 examination of TOGAF. Just to summarize again why to get a TOGAF certification, TOGAF made the enterprise architecture development more efficient. The understanding of a common language, high demand for the enterprise architects and boundaryless information flow. TOGAF can be reused and can be refined according to the needs of the project. It is having a stage approach for the certification so in this course I am talking about TOGAF level 1 and later you can also prepare yourself for TOGAF level 2 certification so why TOGAF is getting more used in the industry is for the better business IT alignment the better planning efficient IT operation informed decision making and definitely for that the increased brand visibility I will be taking you through the BIDAT which means the business architecture, application architecture, data architecture and the technology architecture while in the course. Following are the lessons I will be covering in the TOGAP 9 foundation training course. The basic concepts, core concepts, introduction to ADM, the enterprise continuum and tools, ADM phases, ADM guidelines and techniques, the architecture governance, architecture of view, viewpoint, stakeholders the building blocks like architectural building blocks or solution building blocks the ADM deliverables and the TOGAF reference model the right hand side the picture shows the chosen diagram by the open group for TOGAF we will be discussing in details about inside the course I will be showing you some of the posters which will be easy for you to remember concepts the preliminary phase, the TOGAF ADM life cycle, the guidelines and techniques, the model and architecture, the phase B, C, D, common elements, the governance and many others. I will be also discussing about the ADM, ADM architecture content framework, the reference model, ADM guidelines and techniques, enterprise continuum and architecture capability framework. I will give you references of the TOGA posters. I will be talking about the artifacts and deliverables of TOGA. I will be detailing about the catalogs, code diagrams, extension diagrams and matrices. I will be also talking about the application architecture artifacts, business architecture artifacts, data architecture artifacts. I will be showing you some of the templates I will be also sharing you the TOGAF templates, 
the deliverable templates. These are more requirements of uh, TOGAP level 2 examination. But I will be sharing this with you guys so that you can remember things more faster and easily and attempt the examination with full confidence. We will be having quiz after every session so that you can refresh and before you come back to another session you know what you are dealing with. Last but not the least I will be also sharing you some of the tips and tricks how to appear for the exam and successfully take the exam to look through the course description and I look forward to see you in the course. Thank you very much.